guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this colorful flower seed beads earring. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. Don't forget that when you change colors you have so many different variations of this work. Okay, so if you like what I'm doing here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 on seed beads. Here I use ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread, which is about 1.5 meters or about uh, 5 feet of thread. And I'm going to start. Okay guys, and I'm back and now I'm going to start the center of my earring. And in order to start it, I will take two blue beads and I want to make the so-called herringbone stitch. In my first step, I'm going to make a knot here. And I'm making it by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made, like that, and pull. Okay, now I have this. I want my beads to stay next to each other. Okay, then I'm going to go through the first black bead in this direction. And you see what I have now. And I will take two blue beads and I will go back here through this blue one. Then I will go back in this direction through these two blue beads. And I will take two blue beads, go back in circle through, go back, I mean not in circle, but back through the first blue bead. Then I will make my thread go this direction and go through these two beads, okay? This is what's called herringbone stitch. If you haven't done this, just follow the instruction. It's really easy, okay? Taking two beads, going back through one of my blue beads, then pulling my thread in this direction and going through these two blue beads, okay? Now I have this and I will take two blue beads. I will go here through this blue one then in this direction and here through these two blue beads. Okay. And now guys, I'm going to continue this until I have 24 rows and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have 24 rows here and what I want to do is close this in circle, okay? So now as I'm exiting from this blue bead here, like that, I will go in the other blue bead where my tail thread is, okay? I go through it and I pull to connect them, just like that, then I go back through the other blue bead and back in my other part, okay, my other side, okay, and then I go through those two beads in this direction. Okay, like this. And now I'm going here 
inside my work you see I'm going in this hole right here in the center between my four beads okay now guys I have this you see my thread is exiting of the other side of my work and I'm going to take one yellow bead and then as I'm exiting from this hole here you see where my thread is I'm going in the other hole skipping these two blue beads and going in the other one okay and I pull now I have this okay and now I'm going to take an orange a blue and an orange like that and I will skip the following hole and go in the next one Okay, now I have this. Okay, then I'm taking one yellow bead and as I'm exiting from this hole here, I'm going in my next hole like that. And I'm pulling. Okay guys, and now I take orange, blue, orange, and I skip this hole and go in the next one like this okay then I'm taking one yellow and I'm going in the following hole exiting out of this one I'm going in the next hole okay and here what I need is orange, blue, orange, like that. Skip this hole and go in the next one. You see? Okay, when I'm adding beads in the center, I'm going in the next hole. And when I'm adding beads in the outside edge, I'm skipping one hole and going in the following, okay? Then I need one yellow bead. I'm exiting out of here and with this yellow I'm going in the next hole. Okay. Then orange, blue and orange. Okay, I have this. Skip the following hole and go in the next one. Okay, take one yellow, skip here this blue bead and go in the following hole. Okay, and now guys, what I have is half of this part ready and I'm going to continue with the other half and meet you here and tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I'm adding my last orange blue orange and here in the center I have eight yellow beads and what I want to do is go in one of my yellows and I want to fill in the gaps here with more yellow beads okay take one yellow go in the following yellow like that then one more Okay, this is a really easy step because I'm just filling the gaps here inside. Okay guys, and I'm going to reinforce this circle of camera and I'll be back to tell you when I reinforce it how to continue 
Okay, guys, and I reinforce this part by going here one more time in the center of my work. And now I want to exit in my outside edge and exit in this orange bead, okay? And I will take three orange beads, go back through this one like that. And you see I'm forming a flower here. Then I go here through this orange, the following orange, and I want to form one more flower. Okay, just like this. Go back through here and form one more flower. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up. Okay, and I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I'm going to continue with the outside row. Okay, guys, and my goal for my outside row is to exit through the edge of one of my flowers. Okay. Going here at the edge and going at this orange bead. Okay, and I'm going to take seven of these beautiful yellow beads. Okay, and I have my seven here. And as I'm exiting from this orange bead, I'm going in my other orange. Okay. Now I have this. And I'm going to take seven more beads. Okay, seven. And go here in the next orange. I'm showing you one more time. Seven. And I'm going in the following orange. Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up. Okay, and I'm adding my last beads here. And what I want to do in my next step is go here through these three beads. Skip this one bead at the angle and go through the following two. Okay, I'm skipping this and going through the following. And when I pull, I have this. Okay, then I will take one blue bead. I will skip one, two, three beads here. And go in the following two yellow beads and pull. Then I'm going to skip this one here at the angle and go through the following two yellow beads. Okay. And then I'm going to take one blue bead, skip these three at the angle and go through these two yellows. Okay. Skipping the angle bead and going through the following two. Okay, and pull. Take one blue, skip one, two, three beads, and go through these two yellows. Okay, skip the angle and go through the following two. Okay, guys. 
Now continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last bead from this row, my last blue bead here. And I have one additional step before I finish my earring, okay? I want to exit here in my blue bead. And I want to take three orange beads and go back in circle through this blue one, like that. Then I want to go through all of those beads here at the angle and exit in my following blue bead, okay. Then I'm going to take three orange beads like that and go back in circle through this blue one okay now I have this and I'm going in my following two yellows and in the blue and I'm taking three orange beads and I'm going back here through this one Okay, and now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and then I'm going to add my ear wires. Okay guys, and what I do here is that I add my last three beads from this row. I'm going here and in my next step, I'm going to show you how to add your ear wire. Okay, before adding your ear wire, you could go around one more time around the edges reinforcing your work if you want okay now i'm taking here my ear wire okay and what i want to do is take one blue bead go here through my ear wire take one more blue bead like this and go back in circle through this yellow one i'm originally exiting out of Okay, and I have this, and then I want to reinforce this joint. Okay, and now what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and in order to do this I'm going here through this loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I will go in my following C bead like that and I'm going to cut my thread okay guys and now I have this my earring is ready okay guys and now my earrings are ready so if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. In this way, you will be notified when I release matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following this or other tutorials in my channel, uh, you could share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.